the MGG versus Envision Clan War Battle uh, Royale thingy. Uh, we're now up. Yeah, to, yeah we're now up to. Uh, we're now up to three. Oh, sorry, no wrong numbers. My bad. My bad. My bad. It's two one in that. Yeah, my bad. My bad. It's all right. We all forgive you. Yeah, that's all good. Look, guys, my house is being painted. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, so the score is uh, two one. We've got Envision in the lead. Thank you to uh, Jig for pointing that out, and also for Mirth as well. Um, so we will go into game number four in just a moment. Of course, uh, the sponsors and uh, supporters of MGG, Vroom Vroom Vroom, um, Tic Tacs, and DGen Seo. Again, but, uh, like, we've got to say Tic Tacs. Now that isn't like the stuff that you put in your mouth. No, no, of course. You wouldn't it's want like, that. It's a clever wordplay, guys. It is. So you think of Tic Tacs, your other name's familiar. Yep. Then you go, oh, I actually needed him attacks though. So you exactly. go and, and they just tick it all off, I, I guess. It's very clever. Yeah, it's good. There you go. So, uh, no paranormal. My monitor is not getting painted. Um, and I'm not getting painted. I could get painted if you want. I can, you know... Could you get paint. painted like, but with clothes on, and then so everyone will think, "Oh, look at that cool clothes that he's wearing." They seem a bit skin tight though, and you go, "Well, actually, that's uh, <laughs> that is my skin." There you go, skin tight, skinny jeans. Take that. I've yeah. been doing it since uh, you know way before. Hipster to the max. Or it was cool. Well, all right. So we're just waiting to see who uh, the old envision's going to put in now that they've lost their. Cannon rushing aficionado. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, perhaps, perhaps uh, LM has been watching a bit of Gaulsy stream like I have. Um, where is the? Uh, all right, let's say uh, Captain Mirth of uh, IVN. You've got quite a few uh, players still to send out. You've got Wet Tau. You've got Forbes, uh, Fight, Novax, Cynics, who I've played against, by the way, on my Terran account. That was really fun. A Silver Terran playing against a Grandmaster Zerg. That was really cool. Thank you, Sea Server. You're fantastic. Uh, we've got Doves, Chapo, uh, Berksies, and of course, Yoon Beki. Who do you send out? I'd, well, if it was me, because mm -hmm. this is the scenario we're making. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is Captain Mirth. Captain Mirth. So of Captain Lydia. Mirth. Yeah, Captain like, Silver like, League Murph. Okay, like, <laughs> like Captain Planet, but you know, a little bit different. Everyone's put their rings together. I've come out. I'm going. All right, guys, here to save the day. Got to clean up the bottles and stuff. I'm look, either Wet Tow or Doves. There you go. Um, why? Because Wet Tow is just a funny name. <laughs> doves, pretty much, uh, just because I want to say I'm releasing the Doves. There you go. There That's you go. all I'm backing it up with. I'm okay with all of that. Yeah. Well, I don't even know what race they play. No. I've been out of the circuit for a bit. I've been studying, doing all that. So, all right. <laughs> Wet Tal is a Terran. I have uh, have had the pleasure of uh, meeting Wet Tal in the flesh uh, when I went up to Brisbane. Um, that was... Uh, no, nah, mate, I'm not sure about Wet Tal, actually. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? I, I did. That was very good. Yeah. All right. We do have the, the next player selected. We do indeed. You guys will get it as soon as we go into game. You, you, everyone will, will laugh that Amazon's Amma, <laughs> like, oh, nah, mate, I won't go with Wet Tower. Like, oh, happy with that. Gonna have a drink. No, I'm not too hungover still. <laughs> Just be sick. <laughs> Alright, guys, are you guys enjoying the games tonight? I certainly hope they are. Yeah. I'm turning it off if they're not. I could be playing Planet Side 2 and getting shot by random snipers across the map. It's good fun. Is that any good? Is that in that you've been playing the beta of that or something? No, no, it's like full release now. Oh, you can grab it on Steam, release. free to play. Yep. Okay. Um, so far, if you go into it thinking that it's an MMORPG, as some of my friends did, you're going to be severely disappointed. Oh. Um, but uh, yeah, if you go into it thinking that it's Battlefield 3 on a much, much larger scale with. Uh, futuristic weapons and that kind of thing, you're going to be very impressed. I, th I think it's relatively good. There are some bugs that need to be worked out, but uh, we'll get there uh, very soon. But anyway, of course, we are here for some StarCraft 2 action between MGG and IVN, otherwise known as Envision. And uh, we've got a pause at the moment. Wait, yeah. why did we start? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so I'll, uh, I'll obviously chuck it on the right overlay so you guys can see what is going on. Um, now, bottom right-hand side, playing for MGG, obviously the winner of the previous game. It is... Titan. Oh, look at that. Zooming in and stuff. It's crazy. I'm, I'm like legend up in here. And uh, up at the top left-hand side, we are back on Ohana. Wait, are we allowed to play the same map in, in a row? Yes. I, I guess... Losing. Well, no. We were, on Ohana, we were on Ohana last game, were we? Were we? No, we were on Entombed. Oh, that's right, yeah. No, I, I've forgotten okay. already. Like, that, that's, that's like... I'm drinking water, guys. No joke. Um, I'm drinking vodka, guys. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> there you are. Alright, uh, and in the top left hand side on Ohana is the blue Protoss for IVN. It is. Nah, mate. I can't, I'm not going to say that Korean, I've got to say it Australian. There you go. Nah, mate. You go. That's good. I like that name a lot. Yeah. Um, guys, guys, in the, guys in the chat, is, is Namek code for one of the other players? Because obviously that's, um, that wasn't one of the players who was listed on the roster. I just thought I'd point that out. Nah, mate, you wasn't listed on the roster. Ah, there he is. He's on fire right now. <laughs> Do we know, guys? Someone, know. someone, someone, let me know if, if needed. I'll, I'll point it out. Oh, I got a message. It's Alpha. He said sorry. Well, that's okay. You, you're forgiven. Not by me. Oh, there he is. He's left the game. Where towels left coming. the game? Maybe they're in a party together and they're going to have some <laughs> They're going to, go to a dancing. party right now. I don't know what's going on. They are going dancing, I guess. But uh, anyway. Um, Alright, so no. Chase, Chase is playing games with me. I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But anyway, uh, we've got Titan. Looks like he is going for a uh, one racks command center down here at the natural. Of course, a very common way to play the TVPs. He's got a marine out that's going to try and save this SCV because the SCV was getting tasered by that pro, but I'm sure it was uh, not into that kind of thing. But as we can see, Narmate has picked up his. Uh, he's gone for his own little gateway expand. One get one uh, one probe on the gas. Very interested about that. We'll have to see how he goes with that. Of course, uh, there are some various styles of the one gate expand um, that involve. Oh. What the? <laughs> okay. Looks like I win. I win that game. In fact, me and Mirth win that game. Yeah. Because we're on the on the team that stayed the longest. We're on the board. Alright. Need to remake wrong person. Okay, cool. Okay, so now nah, mate wasn't actually. <laughs> well, I was doing alright. He had one probing gas, but he wasn't doing that exactly. bad. Exactly. Exactly. Hang on. Where, where is now nah, mate on the ladder? Alpha's is inviting me to a party again. Are we joining the party? I want to join. Well, I'm joining the party. I don't have an invitation. <laughs> There you go. Now, mate, platinum. Platinum uh, player. I'm not sure that qualifies for Masters or Grandmasters. I'll have to check the rule books, but uh, I think that explains why that was happening. Um, yeah. Oh, we were confused. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it looks like Wet Tower was actually the one. So didn't I call it? Didn't I call Wait, that? No. Hang on. Hang on. I don't know. They've put him out. Ah. Oh. Alright guys, get up high and mighty for a sec. I, I, okay, some of the questions in the chat, um, the, <laughs> the one probe in gas thing, firstly, that, that can be fine, like, that's, that's not really a total, what the fuck is this sort of situation, yeah. it, it is okay, like, you can do that. Fine games. Well, n not even that, like, there are some <laughs> builds where you can actually pick up the, uh, the minerals a little bit quicker, get your gates out a little bit faster, and then sort of do some pressure a little bit earlier, but, uh, it looks like we will have, um, yeah, we did have the wrong player there. It was a platinum player who somehow thought that uh, this was the platinum division. I, I have no idea what's going on with that. Um, I bet he was so happy. I bet he was so happy. Now, mate, it was like, yes, it's my time to shine. <laughs> this is my time. I'm going to take on the uh, the masters. Uh, I'm going to do it. The masters Terran player and win it for my team. We're going to take the trophy. Not today, guys. Not today. Yep. No free rides here. Yep. Alright. Anyway, so we're going to restart. It is going to be a little bit of a different matchup. Um, my favourite matchup. Actually, my second favourite matchup. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I, I play Terran and Protoss, so I, I sometimes have differing opinions of playing against the Zerg, so 
Um, it sort of depends on the day if I've been watching Parting's replays and uh, how my mech play is going. Of course, uh, I think Dr. Goose is still in the chat. Dr. Goose has had some fun against my Let Terran play. Um, anyway, so we are going to go into a regame of game number four. Well, not entirely a regame, a remake with the proper players of game number four here on Ohana. Mm -hmm. Lovely beach, Ohana, the best beach in the StarCraft world. Exactly. Or, I don't know, Belshia Beach. Belshia it's, Beach it's is not a beach. Or it's a swamp. <laughs> it's a like the one you walked home in. It's a swamp. It's not a beach. It's ironic. They will call it a beach. So people go there and be like, oh, it's a nice beach. And then it's a swamp. Oh, because so... the water's everywhere. Um, yeah, but it's... I suppose, yeah. I suppose, I suppose I, yeah, alright. All right. Um, we'll think about that. Let's look at it next time. Yeah, actually. Yeah. We'll, get that, we'll get that one to the boys in the lab and we'll have a look at that again. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, as I said, we are going back into it again. Uh, let me just sort of make sure that my camera is actually working properly. In the uh, in the top left hand side, playing for IV and the player who is not in platinum and who may be able to take a game of uh, his opposing Terran down in the bottom right. Up, up at the top left, just to make sure you're with me still, because I just went everywhere with that. It is uh, IVN Nova X. Yeah. I'm just going to shake the camera around and make sure you guys are seasick down in the bottom right as the Red Terran who won our previous game, technically won the previous game, it is... Titan! Okay, so, uh, let me just adjust ye olde nameplates. Just for future reference guys, I'm gonna, we're going to do the intros and then I'll update the nameplates. Um, oh, yep, also going to update that nameplate, thank you. Yeah, just uh, calm down, guys. All yeah, right. I mean, on. I mean, God, like, what do you think I am? Some kind of uh, crazy guy who's who's uh, hosting this? Think he's Korean? Yeah, my APM. Is Korean? Look, at, look at this. I'll put the APM chart up. Hang on. No, nope, that's music. Where's the APM? Look at that. I'm not even on the APM chart right now. That's how bad I am right now. It's just insane. Anyway. Or maybe, or maybe it's just you're off the charts because you're so good. Oh, maybe. you were on <laughs> fire. Except I'll, you know, you'll would just have to say to that, nah, mate. Anyway, nah, mate. Nah, mate. hashtag nah, mate. Get on the Twitter, guys. Yeah, get get in. Yeah. Make nah, mate the most famous platinum uh, Protoss <laughs> ever. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, so let's uh, let's put in our serious pants for a moment. Um, Terran versus Zerg on this map, of course. Uh, it's you know I know I know it's not very it's not very uh, unusual for me to say it, but of course Mech is a nice way to play this map. You can uh, you can wall up you can wall off this first natural ramp here, get rid of these annoying little dust and brown rocks at the side there, and then take this as your main sort of exit and entry point here at your third base, and uh, you can sit on three, get up some Mech, get up a couple of factories, and go for that kind of stuff, and then uh, be sitting very pretty. And Zerk can, you know, Zerks can have a little bit of trouble with it, of course, lately, given that every Terran has decided that Mech is the cool thing to do. Uh, a lot of Zergs have started uh, finding the good ways to deal with it. So we'll see what's going to happen here between Nova X and Titan. Looks like the uh, the gas and the spawning pool are on the way. Of course, we did have that hatchery going down first, I believe it was. Uh, Murph, I believe that was first. Did you see that? Yeah, the, the hatchery went down and then the, the CC was put up in uh, after he saw that the hatch was going down. Just this no, you're not going to see any kind of, you know, crazy six fours or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I thought, I thought it was safe. Oh, this is, I can do this. That's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to be interesting uh... to see the kind of gas timings from Titan. You mm. know, see whether he wants to just probably going to go to the Hellion into Banshee kind of harassment that we is oh so popular these days. Yep. He did take uh, he did take gas number one relatively quickly, I believe. It looks like he's down to uh, two thirty two three nine. Yeah, you see, he did take that relatively quickly compared to uh, when you would normally take it. Of course, if you are going for that standard sort of. Uh, the standard version of the reactor Hellion sort of uh, play, then you would actually normally grab both of those because it lets you transition into the starport and the Banshees and get those out reasonably quickly. Whereas this particular style, you can still get the factory up as we can see. He's got that on the way. It also does allow you to put the reactor down as well. Look at this wall. I love this wall. He's like, this is looking very Brood War style wall here with the supply depot is down that way and then the bunk and then the uh, the barracks as well. But anyway. Um, it does allow you to still get those reacted Hellions out. It uh, does 
normally to me, from what I understand, now keep in mind I'm still only just a, a low, lowly sort of Terran, is that this, uh, this doesn't transition as well into mech, so we may see Titan go for bio, we'll have to check out in just a second, there goes a starport, so we may look to try and uh, perhaps do a Hellion drop, we'll find out very soon. I'm definitely yeah, just gonna have to watch out, see, um, yeah, if he does want to take those other two gases, probably the more gas the better for the Banshees, etc. Mm -hmm. um, you know, looks like he may go for Banshees because he's gonna build that tech lab right near to, near to the starport. See that's that true. Position, yeah? That's true. Alright, so it does look if, if he is going to go for it, of course, uh, the second gas helping out there. Don't know if we'll see the, the gas 3 and 4 just yet. You don't yeah. necessarily have to grab that just at the moment, but uh, for the moment it looks like Nova X has gotten his uh, queens out. We're up to four queens, I believe. Yes, one, two, three, four. We've got a couple for creep spread, and of course they help out in doing, dealing with Hellions that might come along, along with Banshees as well. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, one, of the, one of the relatively decent ways to deal with Reactor Hellions and then Banshees is to simply have queens out. Queens with, now with their extra range can deal with quite a lot of damage to the Hellions before they get too far into your grill. And then of course they can shoot up and they can shoot up very far, which is quite annoying. And uh, that's a good way to deal with the Banshees. So, looks like uh, Nova X is going to have a relatively good sort of position here. He's decided that walling off is the, uh, is the best way to deal with this. A Bailing Nest and two Evo Chambers are going to wall off the, uh, the natural ramp here. And there is even a Creep Tumor in the little spot there. Unfortunately for Nova X that's not going to block. But uh, yeah, it's just sort of effectively just prepared very hard for those Hellions and uh, they're not going to really get too much done. No, they'll be able to take some map control at least for now, so those Queens will slowly push that creep spread across the map. We actually see two armories down uh, for Titans. So. Okay, so he is going mech. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, um... So he's going to switch it across, of course, that means if you are going to go to, go to mech, you're going to need gases 3 and 4, which is just finishing up now. The Hellions and the Banshee are now pushing across, trying to get some damage done on a Queen. She's getting a very low in health, in fact, she's probably going to go down. Yep, last shot from a Hellion, catching that, beautifully done. And is uh, other Queen going to go down? No, they're going to choose close. to go to that third. I'm going to grab a couple of drones here. Two of those drones roasted up quite nicely, like a, uh, like a barbecue out the back on a Sunday afternoon. Nicely done by Titan there. He's, he's not going to get too greedy. He said, you know what, you've walled off, you've got this insane wall at the top of the natural ramp. I'm not going to try and push my luck too much here, especially now that there are all of these lings out. That is uh, that is a total of 24 lings out on the map. They're going to try and catch the Hellions out. I'm not sure if that's the best idea. While it's quite a lot, I don't think it's enough to kill all the Hellions. And that's that's a great, great position. Great engage there for Titan, getting a lot of those lings. Well, this, is a, this is a couple of hands, but not a bad trade. Yeah, that was uh, really nicely done, just sort of maneuvering himself quite well. An Overseer for Nova X is going to take a quick peek through. We'll see the extra third, uh, the two and three factories on the way. Has seen at least one of the armories, but effectively now that he's seen all of those factories, should know that it is going to be a mech play. He's also going to find his third base down at the bottom left-hand side with some of the leftover lings from that uh, attempted destruction of the Hellions. They will be able to get maybe one or two kills here. One. One SCV for the rest of these links. Or maybe two. Yeah, I've got a couple. I've got a couple of SCVs. More links now trying to sweep through. Yeah. Looks like they will actually get in. Put and the wall up. Oh, oh my god. We get a few drone kills here, uh, SCV kills rather. Mr. Titan is in a little bit of trouble here. We got links inside the main Hillians coming to save that, but at the third. Uh, we'll say it again, at what cost? We've lost quite a lot of the SCVs down here. Nine workers killed in total to the uh, to the three that uh, Titan was able to kill at his opponent's base. Meanwhile, back at home, looks like uh, Nova X is picking up a few upgrades. He's getting his roaches also on the way. Plus one, two missile attacks and weapons is on the way. And was for a second researching the, the uh, tunneling claws, but decided that uh, roach move speed is a better way to deal with this kind of stuff. So Titan, a little bit on the back foot there, but I suppose he does have his third base up. If he can uh, get some SCV saturating this, uh, uh, getting all that back up and running again, he'll be very happy with the position that he's in. And uh, Nova X currently sitting on a total of 50 drones, so he's actually just a little bit behind where he would normally want to be right about now. Of course, he did suffer a couple of losses and put quite a lot of his larvae in those lings that he sent across to try and do all that damage. Looks like uh, the Overlord and Overseer are trying to decide who's going to get out of there and who's not. But the uh, Overlord, of course. Exactly. 
And uh, Thor's not going to be able to kill that Overseer because, ironically, despite that uh, huge mech thing shooting at the Overseer, the Overseer has like 50,000 health and 50,000 armor, so that's going to survive for a little bit. Indeed, it will. We see that uh, yeah, Nova's going to invest a little bit more into the Roaches because Roaches are pretty good against this these Hellions he's got out. How do Roaches do against um, kind of Mass Thor? Like I know Mass Mass Thor, nothing really kills it. But, uh, you know, these levels of Thor's that we have now, how many roaches would he need to, you know, kind of destroy all them? He'd need definitely a lot more than he has now. I think mm. I think the ratio you kind of go for is around about six... six I'm going to say six roaches per Thor at a minimum. Uh, but the problem is, is that there are these three banshees that have been uh, kept alive the entire game. We're now starting to get a couple of the tanks out as well. 1-1 one, one is basically completed here for Titan as well. So, uh, as you said, the Roach style is a very good way to try and deal with mech in its earlier phases. I feel like um, quite a lot of players try and deal with mech by uh, using, using Roaches and, and these kind of units right at the start to try and really just sort of downsize and slow that 200 max out of a Terran before, uh, you know, before the Zerg can uh, actually get some good units out. But as we can see, Novarex, I feel like he's just a little bit behind in his economy. 65 drones still does not have a fourth base if it was me, and I'm, I'm sure some of these other guys here uh, would, uh, in the chat would agree. I, I think if you were seeing a Terran going mech, you would really want to pick up that fourth base quite a lot sooner than he has. This is going down at the 15 minute mark, which is quite far behind. Uh, where you would normally want to see it, I believe. I believe. I'm not, as I said, I'm not a Zerg player, but uh, that's just how I feel about it. You know, I might write in my diary about that. Yeah, well, that uh, uh, Titan does scout the force base now building. That creep spur is actually getting pretty good halfway across the map. And Nova going for uh, some overload speed and overload drop, so maybe he wants to drop some roaches in at the back or something. Maybe make more of some banes. We don't know what he's going to do yet. Or have an infested hit squad. Yeah, lots of infestors popping out. Nine of those in total, of a course. Lot of they've, yeah, they've got their pathogen glands now. Um, we mentioned it, I think, a little bit earlier. A good way to deal with mech is to try and abuse the uh, abuse the immobility. Oh, that's right. We were talking to Hazard about it. You try and uh, you try and abuse the immobility of the style. Of course, you've got these very big thors, which of course take quite a lot to maneuver around. We've now got a whole bunch of tanks here, and uh, yeah, very good fungal by Nova Rex to catch up most of those Hellions. Now this means does it mean the push is slowed? Not necessarily. When you when you're a Terran player, kind of looking at this situation here, and you can see a lot of roaches out. Uh, you've seen that there are some infestors as well you kind of sit there and you're like well you know what we don't necessarily need to but the battle is on nice fungals from Nova X catching out some of the SCVs of course they're a big component of this and he's just gonna say you know what we're gonna we're not gonna fight I, I, I don't want to fight you this is this is not the fight club I'm just gonna run um, past yeah I'm not sure about this uh, Nova has trying to trap all these units in here now they just, just to see how much damage they can do before they will you know always take out these infestors have no energy now these roaches getting taken out. I'm not sure that was the best idea um, for Nova, you know, walking into the base there. But then again, look, he did clear a mineral line and gets that, gets that second base, which is pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, he did, did clear out the natural, but uh, I think I think everyone in the chat will have to say it again with me, at what cost? At what cost? We did lose quite a lot of SCVs in that fight as well. Uh, just a, I think that was around about 10 of those that were sent with the initial force, but now there's quite a lot of tanks. We've got three, four, five Thors again coming out from Titan, so he is not done yet. We're going to go back into the fray. 2-2 two, two is done now, and that's going to give him a nice little edge, especially against Roaches, and especially when the Roaches only have 1-2. They're quite far behind on their upgrades now. The, uh, the big question will be, does he keep the tanks in Pong Pong mode or in Siege mode? He's going to slow Slowly leapfrog it looks like, using the tanks for cover, the Thors slowly walk, walk, walking their way up, there we go, get it right eventually. The, uh, the SCVs at the front, not, uh, I don't know if that's the best idea, we've got the uh, SCVs are actually uh, on a separate group, I don't know why they're running ahead like that, but it looks like uh, with a whole new bunch of infestors out, it looks like uh, uh, Novak's, Nova X might be trying to do a little bit of a run by here. Yeah, but this army, this mech army is actually so scary right now. Oh, great fun go up on, the, on those SCVs, but just a lot of tanks. Lots of tanks. Throw, yeah. Just come in here and just trap this army up here now, like, kind of in the main point of exit for Nova, so. So 
we do have uh, a lot of tanks at the front. Six tanks have now been sieged up right at the front. We got Infested Terrans being thrown down on there. And uh, they are going to make the tanks sh shoot down some focus fire, of course. Only a couple of them still in their uh, in their pong pong mode. But now with the rest of them sieging up, they've got a good position. The rocks! My god, the rocks have not been destroyed. Nova X! Oh man, I mean, I, I, I know this is a very terrible position to be in as a Zerg player, but those rocks should have been down by now. I mean, this is this is 20 minutes into the game. We should have had that by now. He did get a nice little counter-attack going to Titan's third base, but I don't think it's going to help him out. Uh, Titan has a nice bank of minerals at the moment. Not too much gas, but it's not really going to matter. He's got 3-3 three, three on the way, another Thor, and uh, we'll be able to produce Hellions by the truckload. But now the Roach is trying to come down the ramp. Not going to have a fun time with all of these tanks now sieged up. Yeah, there are just definitely too many tanks in their approaches, you know, they can try and snipe Thor's that get too far ahead, as they're trying to do this there, but that probably just walk back and say, well, I'm just going to go for safety of the tanks and just do damage for a far. The Titan now taking those rocks down for Nova, saying, here, I'll help you out, buddy. Get those rocks down for you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, this is not looking good for Nova at all. He's got a couple of investors, but even doesn't get fungal zone if I can throw those beach balls out. It's nice to see some beach balls on the beach. That's true, that's true. It's nice that he's adding to the element of this map. But uh, unfortunately for him, that is going to be probably the end because the tanks have now Hold decided on, it is One time. Broodlord on the way. Whoa, one Broodlord. Look out. There it is, GG. But that is the end of that, so Titan taking another game for MGG, bringing us to a 2-2 situation, just like his tanks and Thor's there, doing a lot of damage at 2-2, brings the score up to 2-2. I uh, can't think of anything else that was 2-2. 2-2. Is, uh, is Mirth wearing a 2-2? That's the big question of this particular cast. We can't see You'll him. Never know. You'll never know. We can't see him, uh, which is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, you're casting at the last second. you got to do what you can, so... Um, that takes us to 2 2, of course, with uh, Envision. Take a nice little lead at the start, but now that it's being brought back by MGG's Titan, uh, we are going to have a quick little break, I think. Quick little break? Titan's going to have a quick little break. All of you guys in the chat, please feel free to uh, go and tweet and uh, Facebook and MySpace and um, what else is there? Take a picture, Instagram, of your of your uh, monitor, then put it on hashtag Instagram. Hashtag Narmate. And hashtag Narmate. This is the uh, ZMGG versus IVN, otherwise known as Envision, versus Metagame Gods. Clan War here on the C server. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Go and get a drink.